What is going on everyone? Welcome to the video. So I did want to start including some more non-gym everyday life stuff in the video. So let's start with this. Um, not that I really ever show you my apartment, but I got a new TV. Since you didn't really see the old TV, it's not going to mean that much. But I upgraded here to a 50 inch TV. Not really a big TV person, honestly, um, but the one I had here was a little bit too small. I took it from my house when I moved. So what I did, I took that TV, I put it in my bedroom. We have the 50 inch TV now here. Um, it's definitely an upgrade. And the one that I had in the bedroom, it was a pretty crappy quality TV anyway, so uh, that one is no longer here. So now we have a new TV. I wanted to actually show you the massive box because obviously a 50 inch TV has to come in a pretty big box, but I didn't realize how massive that box was gonna be. But I already threw it out. I completely forgot to film it. Sorry. Um, anyway, right now I am headed to get some x-rays at the dentist oral surgeon. Uh, I haven't been to the dentist in a long time, but I'm running late, so I'm going to pick up this conversation in the car. Almost forgot to show you the coolest part. Look how it turns off. That's awesome. Alright guys, so real quick, if you saw the, the title of the video, with my, my first leg day in, in like three years, obviously you see me squat all the time, so I'll explain that in the commentary, what I mean by the first leg day in three years. Obviously, I've been doing legs um, more often than once every three years. Um, so like I said before, I am headed right now to an oral surgeon to get just to get x-rays. Um, I haven't been to the dentist in like three years, and obviously that is not a good thing. But what happened was I left my job when I went to law school, lost dental insurance, and time out just flies. And I just, before you know it, it's been like several years since I haven't been to the dentist. So I was actually talking to someone at the gym the other day. Woo! Nice catch. Let's put this bad boy back up. This is, if this is going to be a more daily occurrence, I should probably get something for the, for the camera. So I was talking to someone at the gym the other day, and he happens to be a uh, oral surgeon. So he offered to do x-rays for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the x-rays now, and then I'll take those x-rays to a dentist to actually get a cleaning done. Just because the x-rays, I don't have dental insurance, so it's more expensive. So I might as well not pay for the x-rays and then pay for the cleaning. Um... I'm a little scared to be honest. Um, it's been a while. I mean, since I know I since I knew I wasn't going to be going to the dentist, I made sure to take like, extra good care of my teeth over the last two years. I I swish um, coconut oil in my mouth daily. I brush my teeth twice a day. I use Listerine. I floss. So I make sure to do everything the right way just to protect myself. But I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of scared to see what's going to happen on these X-rays. So hopefully they're fine. Hopefully then I can just get an, uh, a cleaning done and everything will be okay. Um, so yeah, headed there now. Um, I guess I'll give you guys an update as to my situation when I'm done. And by the way, that new TV, it didn't come with an HDMI cable. Like, how, how can they not come with an HDMI cable? Like, oh, here's a TV, sorry, you can't use it. So now I have to, I have to get one of those. Um, I guess I took the one from my TV in my bedroom to put there just so I could turn it on and use it. So we just got done with the x-rays. Overall, not bad. I uh, have some little gum issues, but I've always had that. So uh, in three years of no dentist, I am very, very uh, relieved actually. So I'm going to schedule a cleaning now in a couple of weeks. Take care of that. But for you guys out there, go to the dentist. Don't put it off. Time flies. It is important though. You don't want to have to get like deep surgery at some point or root canals or whatever. So I'm definitely going to make more of an effort to go more often. Uh, but that's enough for that. Uh, let's get to the workout before the workout starts uh, when she was taking all the x-rays she was like taking all these different angles and all I was thinking the whole time was like damn I should hire you to get some sick angles for my YouTube channel but I didn't say that because yeah I didn't say that all right workout time what is going on everyone welcome to the workout so yeah if you saw the title of the video like first leg day in three years you're probably thinking what we see you do legs all the time well, yeah, so I don't mean that it's the first time I trained legs in three years. What I mean is since I switched my routine, uh, this is now like a pure leg day. Whereas before, I had a squat day where I, I did legs. Then I had a second leg day where I did deadlifts. And after deadlifts, I turned it into like a lower body day. So this was like a pure hypertrophy leg day, which I haven't had in a very long time. So there was no strength work at all. 
it was all uh, 10 reps or above, and it was different. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it uh, it was a really tough workout. Um, I'll go through everything. I'll tell you how many sets I did. So I started out with these this hack squat machine here. I only showed two sets, but I did a total of four sets. I decided to do 10 reps today. I, I'm what I'm gonna be doing on these hypertrophy days, rather than be so rigid with like my rep ranges and sticking to like an exact rep range, which is kind of being so rigid kind of like it, it makes it boring for me so i'm kind of do, doing it like based on feel now i'm gonna basically tell myself that on this i'm gonna be doing between like 10 and 15 reps and some days maybe i'll do four sets of 10 maybe some days i'll do four sets of 15 maybe some days i'll pyramid up or down so just to keep it interesting i don't want to like know exactly what i'm doing every single time i'm gonna save the strict progression uh as far as like for the the strength days but i really want to have more fun on the hypertrophy days because that was why I switched the routine to begin with. I felt like it was getting a little bit boring and stagnant. So I think by being a little bit more flexible with how I select the rep ranges will lead it to be a little bit less uh, boring for me. So after the four sets on the hack squats, I moved over to the leg press. And here I decided to do, I was thinking of doing, I think, four sets of 15. I ended up doing two sets of 12 with the weight you see here. And then I did, I believe, a set of two sets of 15 with a drop set. I also did a drop set on the hack squats. Um, if you're wondering why I didn't do squats at all, like barbell squats, and I just did hack squats instead, um, the answer is not ver a very good one. It's basically just because it's faster. Um, I do squats on my strength day. I would Ideally, I think I would like to do squats on this day as well. It's just to warm up for squats. It takes like a solid 15, 20 minutes, whereas the hack squat, I can get into my working set within like five minutes. So it's really more a time saver. Um, in terms of like the overall effectiveness, I don't really think it's going to make a difference anyway. I really do like that hack squat machine. And people always comment how my teardrops on my quads are very impressive. I'm pretty sure it's from that machine from doing it all these years. It definitely nails those, those teardrops. So... In a perfect world, I probably should do some squats on this day as well in a higher rep range, but I just, it's really coming down to at this point, I just don't want to. I mean, I'm going to be honest, that's as simple as that. I'm trying to, I switched up my routine for the simple reason that I was not enjoying the other routine. It was getting a little boring. So this is a nice change of pace, and that's really the only reason I just don't want to be squatting again. Um, so I did four sets on the hack squats, four sets on the leg press, drop set on each of those. After the leg press, I moved on to these Romanian dumbbell deadlifts. Uh, sorry about the angle. I thought I was gotten a little. I thought I got more of me in the shot, but I guess I didn't. Uh, so here I did three sets. I believe I did ten reps as well. Um, same as the other thing, uh, the other exercises. I have no plan for exact rep ranges today. I did three sets of ten. Maybe one week I'll do fifteen. Maybe I'll pyramid up or down. Just don't want to box myself in into a set progression because that's what I did on my last routine. On my hypertrophy days, I had those rep ranges where I really stuck so rigidly to a specific rep range that I felt like I boxed myself in and it just wasn't fun. So right now, as you could tell by what I'm saying, my main priority on this routine is to just enjoy the gym. And for the first week, I actually did enjoy the gym. I actually looked forward to these hypertrophy workouts and the strength workouts. It was very nice to be able to set my mind on those strength days just to know that I'm only doing strength. And then once the weekend was over and it was time for hypertrophy, it was kind of nice knowing that I wasn't going to lift heavy. It's a, it's a good way to just to set your mind to know exactly what you're doing as I do these bird's eye view calf raises. So that's basically the workout. Uh, I filmed everything. Uh, well, not, not every set, but I showed every exercise. As far as the calf raises, I did four sets here. I told you so. It was, uh, just to go back, it was four sets hack squats, four sets leg press, drop set on both of those, three sets on the... Romania deadlifts. I did four sets with a drop set on these calf raises, and then I did three sets on the leg extensions, and I superset this with seated leg curls, and that's the whole leg workout. So my legs were actually extremely sore because this is like the first like higher higher volume leg day I've done in a very very long time. But it really it felt good. I'm not gonna lie. I mean I'm sure in a couple of weeks I'll be dreading leg day like like a normal person. But I was actually really looking forward to this workout, and I actually enjoyed it for for now. So that's a good thing. Um, anyway, this workout is wrapping up after these leg curls. Uh, if you guys like the video, do me a favor and just uh, hit that thumbs up. It really does help me out. I appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video.